NSFW Reddit, what was the WTF thing you slept through? A guy jumping in front of the train I was in. According to guy sitting next to me, I slept through the impact, the hysteria that followed, the ambulance, the firefighters, the coroner, everything. I had a lovely 2 hour nap. I was sleeping in the same room as my two brothers who had a bunk bed. My brother on the top bunk rolled off, and fell and snapped his arm. He was screaming, and my mom and sister came in, and brought him to the hospital. I found this all out the next morning as I had somehow managed to sleep through the whole thing. Remember the massive tornado outbreak in April 2011 across the southeast, E. G. The one that destroyed Tuscaloosa. I was recovering from jet lag, and was sound asleep in my parents basement, in North Gap we had multiple F3 and F4 tornadoes all around us. I woke up several hours later wondering, why no one bothered to wake me up for the apocalypse. My family figured I was fine, since I was already in the basement. Slept through my then boyfriend getting set on fire, being carried through my room screaming, and sitting in my bathtub for 45 minutes, until the ambulance arrived. My mom woke me up at 4am and told me, I didn't believe her. Edit. My taste in men at the ripe age of 16 was very poor to say the least, and this guy was no different. It was the middle of winter, so we had about 3 in of snow on the ground. My brother and my then boyfriend were really good friends, and they had decided to go into the woods in our backyard, and have a little fire. Guy stuff. It was cold as shit, and I was exhausted, so I just went to bed. Turns out they were huffing gas and they both passed out near the fire with the gas can. My brother woke up to the fire almost out. He decided to take the gas can, and throw some onto the fire. Since he was messed up he ended up sloshing the gas on the fire, and on my then boyfriend. He goes up in flames. He's running around screaming his head off, and my brother is freaking out. My brother waits for him to make a loop, and he pushes then boyfriend into the creek. Brother said he waited forever for him to come up. He finally did, and they were figuring out how to get then boyfriend out of the creek. To put in perspective how badly he was burned, he grabbed my brother's hand and his skin sloughed off, and he fell back into the creek. Also at some point between getting set on fire, and being pushed in the creek, he had dropped down to his underwear. They walked back to the house, and decided to use my bathtub to put him in. The ambulance took so long, because I lived out in the bonnies. It's a 30 minute drive to the nearest anything, and about an hour to the hospital. It might have taken less than that, I'm guessing since I was asleep. That's pretty much it. The ambulance came, and he was taken to a big hospital outside of our podunk town, because ours wasn't equipped to handle it. Second and third degree burns on his thighs, and then his hand had mostly third degree burns and a couple spots that had reached fourth degree. He almost had to get skin grafted, but he lucked out. And that's all folks. Edit. Now my brother can say I set a last boyfriend on fire. You have been warned to all future boyfriends. He still does. My younger sister KO'd because she tried to force a burp out for so long that she fainted from lack of oxygen. Stepmom called an ambulance. Well, when she went down, she had a glass of milk in her hand. So milk sprayed everywhere and the glass was on the floor. At the time, our two cats were pissing on everything and then hiding under our couches to escape, so the furniture was all turned over. Paramedics walk into my house and it basically looks like my stepmom was chasing my sister around, overturning furniture and making a general mess and now she's mysteriously passed out. I was napping, woke up to my stepmom saying there was a paramedic here, to ask me some questions. Younger slash sleepy me didn't give a shit, so I half asleep was just like yeah, okay. With my eyes still closed the paramedic just casually asks hey, does your stepmom abuse and beat you sometimes? My eyes shot wide open and almost fell out of my face as I snapped my head to look at him, and just said no. He believed me. Still really weird to wake up to, and then find out why. Sister was fine to btw. Bus driver exposing himself. I was 18, on the bus to high school. It was an hour trip, so I slept every morning. One kid was making fun of the driver, who didn't speak great English. To get the kid to behave, he thought exposing his cock would do it. At school he calls the dean to the bus, to get the kid in trouble. In the dean's office, the kid says in his defense, he ripped out his cock. Kid did not get in trouble, 
Everyone was called into the office for accounts of the story, and I just go, I was asleep. Dean looks to everyone else with a, is he messing with me? Look. Everyone shrugs and says, yeah, he's always asleep. The next year I run into some younger kids, and they said something happened on the bus and someone said they were sleeping. And the dean says, oh Henry is not here anymore. No one can claim they were sleeping anymore. Credit to you slash I live a thoraphorium last time this question was asked. I'm an nurse. I cared for a patient that came in because she woke up with a severe headache and a knot on her head. She went to court for a head scan and had two bullets in her head. One had gone in at the top of her head, just past her hairline, and traveled under the skin, but on top of her skull to the back of her head. The other went straight in, but just fractured the skull behind her ear, didn't go all the way through the skull. They were smaller caliber bullets. Apparently, she went to sleep the night before after taking an Ambien and there was a drive by shooting on her street. The bullets went through her window, and she slept right through it. Fire alarm. The dogs jumped and hit the stove dials on, which then caused a pot of beans to heat up and burn, making the house a smoky, but not fiery, mess. My parents were amazed at my ability to sleep through it, as my room not only had the door open, but was the closest room in the house to set fire alarm. For a less WTF is that, and more WTF is wrong with you, I fell asleep at the circus, when I was in 4th grade. The lady next to me, not a part of the school trip, was horrified that I could just sleep during it, seeing as how colorful, exciting, and loud it was. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep, as it was a school field trip, and I was excited to not school, so I mostly just slept through the whole damn thing. Ten tenths though, way better than that show they put on. My mom used to live below me. My girlfriend and I slept through her dogs literally killing one another. They apparently fought for 15 plus minutes, she screamed for us to help, lots of barking, things got broken, etc. But we heard none of it. Ironically, her dogs slash her usually woke us up easily, the one snoring would sometimes be enough to wake me up. My own dog getting out of my room and destroying my kitchen. Oh man, I can't believe it. A question I actually have a good answer for. I was 7 to 8 years old. Slept through two periods of a Red Wings game. We were at the game, three rows from the ice. It was a Stanley Cup final match, and there were three or four goals while I was sleeping. The couple sitting behind us were worried for my health. I was living in Singapore and my family had maids. Apparently one maid went nuts one day, declared she must kill everyone, grabbed a knife from the kitchen, and tried to go on a stabbing spree. My cousins and grandma managed to subdue her. Well, mostly my grandma. After I was told about what happened the next day, I asked my older cousin about it, and he just looked at me and went, don't piss off grandma. I kinda upset I slept through it, even though my mom kept going on and on about how lucky I was not to witness it. My grandma's awesome. One time, I had a few friends over for a sleepover. I was super tired and wanted to go to sleep, while my friends wanted to stay up. We were cool with that, and I just warned them to not wake up my mom, and then went to sleep. I don't remember anything, but this is what they told me. One of my friends was quietly playing my violin, when all of a sudden, I sat straight up in bed and shot her the death glare of all death glares. My friends all just kind of froze, not really knowing what was going on. They couldn't tell if I was awake or not, so they started talking about me in French, which I don't speak. Apparently after this, I stood up, stormed off to my bathroom, and vigorously brushed my teeth. I then returned to the room, sneered at them again, and promptly collapsed onto the bed. TL. Doctor. Hardcore sleep PMS. When I was a kid, maybe 5, my little brother and I were obsessed with our family's new pull-out couch in our den. One weekend my mother agreed to sleep on this couch with us and watch movies, like a little sleepover. We all dozed off but something woke my mom in the middle of the night. She looked down to the foot of the couch, and lying there was a big 200 pound strange man. My mom is about 110 pounds and a very sweet woman, but she sat up, grabbed the slumbering man by his shirt collar, and growled into his ear what the fuck are you doing here? Sternly but quietly enough not to wake and frighten us. The man sat up, confused and terrified, and fled our house without his shoes. It turned out that a woman my mother knew also knew this man, so we found out later 
that he was drunkenly returning home from the bar in a taxi and mistook our house for his. My brother and I have always thought my mom is a pretty big badass since that incident though. Some drunk dickholes in my neighborhood were shooting off guns. This was about 3 blocks away. I woke up at about 1am and there was a bullet hole above my dad's head about 4 inches and went through his window and through my wall and about 3 inches above my head. I woke up to the sound of cops in my house. I thought they were there cause I had a weed. Those guys ended up being raided about a month later and sent to prison for a large meth production lab and also had been charged for firing off guns in the middle of the fucking night. They're lucky they didn't kill my dad. If they would have, and I would have survived. It would have been the end of them. Living alone at my cabin last summer, woke up one morning and wondered why there was garbage all over the floor. Raccoons got in and trashed the place. Started to clean up the trail of garbage out to the window when I noticed the screen had been ripped off. The window frame had been bent and there was claw marks in the all the screens around the cabin. Followed the trail of garbage and saw a track in the mud. It wasn't raccoons. A fucking bear had been in the cabin and passed by not 5 feet from my bedroom door. I'm glad I had slept through it though. Pretty sure I would have shit my pants if I woke up. In high school my chemistry teacher slash football coach had a bat he had stenciled with Punisher. If a kid fell asleep in class, he would give them a little bit to fall deeply asleep, then whack the desk near their head, making them wake up in terror. He admitted on day one of every class his goal was to see a stupid wet themselves. Wow, this makes him sound like a dick, but he was an amazing teacher and hilarious guy. Anyway, I finished a test and fell asleep. Was having a very pleasant dream about walking down some street. Suddenly, a building next to me exploded in my dream. I was having a lucid dream at the time, and remember thinking WTF was that? Wait, where did I fall asleep? Oh yeah, chemistry. Shit that means that was the Punisher. That thought woke me up, but it was almost a full 10 seconds after the bat hit. Everyone was staring at me in shock that I had slept through that. Okay this is a bit embarrassing, but I slept through labor. No drugs, just really tired I guess. So said it was creepy watching me snoring then tensing up and moaning through the contractions. Apparently the midwife said she hadn't seen anyone do that before. I did wake up for the birth. Edit 1. To all you bastards saying I've got a bag like a clown's pocket. I said I was in labor. Labor. Not delivery. They are different stages. And it was way past my bedtime. So that's why I fell asleep. Edit 2. Yes Mravega Hot Dogs was much more tired after the event for it was I who had the foresight to have a nice refreshing nap. Cheers. When I was a kid at camp I slept through getting trucked. This is when your bunk mates hold two flashlights right in front of your eyes, turn them on, and everyone yells, truck. The next day they told me I didn't react at all. Another time I was at a sleepover at a friend's house, I think it was 4th grade, for his birthday party, and there were 5 or 6 of us, in sleeping bags on his living room floor, me at one end. During the night I started rolling over in my sleep, and rolled on top of and over everyone else. They all woke up of course, got up on the couch, and watched me roll back and forth for a while, until I finally stopped, and they could go back to sleep. I had memory of it at all. Yeah, I was pretty good at sleeping. An air revoc helicopter landing in our yard. Actually the field next to the house. They had been circling for a while, and not until my son came into our bedroom in a full-fledged panic, did we hear a thing. We live in the mountains, so our field was the best they could do. I'm a light sleeper too, normally. Last year I was living in a slightly sketchy part of town. A little backstory, my housemates and I lived in an apartment that was two floors. The bottom floor was in the basement of the building. Four of us girls lived in the basement floor, and three people lived on the top floor. The basement floor had a door that is connected to the hallway where one could access the garage and the outside area. One morning I woke up and my three basement floor roommates looked shaken. My room was pretty close, approximate 10 feet, to the door that accessed the hallway to the garage. Apparently, someone had tried to break into our apartment at 8am in the morning on a Saturday. They had been prying at the door with a crowbar. My three roommates, two of them had rooms that were further from the door than my room, came out of their rooms and yelled at the guy to fuck off. I didn't hear any of it. 
He probably didn't know that the bottom floor was an apartment and probably thought it was a storage unit or something. I can't even imagine what would have happened if he got in and saw that he entered a house. So yeah. Attempted break in. Didn't wake up. I used to live in New Orleans. I lived in a decent area, but you still had to lock up your house. My dad forgot to lock the back door late at night. Some guy enters our house, goes into my parents room steals money, jewelry, whatever, while my parents pretend to be asleep. They call the cops, and he moves towards me, and my brother's room. Him, being a criminal, tried to hide, when he heard the cops come in the house. Because I was a messy 5 year old, he couldn't fit underneath my bed, because I had way too much crap stuff down there. I guess a bunch of cops were in there, pointing guns at the edge of my bed, and yelling move, and I'll blow your fucking head off. And I didn't notice anything. My older brother was sleeping in the same room, and woke up, when the lights were turned on, 